So yes, welcome. Welcome to my first LP. Um, I've been wanting to do one for a while now, and I wasn't really sure on what game I could start with. I uh, picked up a lot from the Steam sales, so that gave me a lot more games I could kind of um, pick from. And this game in particular, uh, I just immediately fell in love with, because uh, for those who don't know, Shadowrun Returns, or Shadow, it's called here Shadowrun Dragonfall, because I have the DLC. But Shadowrun Returns is a turn-based RPG from an isometric perspective, a lot like uh, the old Fallout games. Um, and it's just in a universe I really enjoy, and I didn't know a lot about until now, so I got immediately absorbed with lore and stuff like that, but it's also a really fun game to play, and you know what? I figure we may as well give very hard mode a shot, and record my efforts to do so, because I feel like they're going to be bad. <laughs> So, uh, we're going to start off with the Shadow Run Returns campaign, which is the Dead Man Switch. Um, and we're, of course, going to be on very hard, because why the hell not? Now, uh, I have beaten this game before. Oh, yes, creating character. So, I have beaten this game before. The character I used last time was a mage. Um, thematically, he was a lightning mage, a uh, female elf. <coughs> But uh, this time, I want to run a Shaman. Because the Shamans I run you run into in this game um, are not good. Or I feel like they could be better if I actually like created the character. So, where this time around we're going to choose a male. I originally played as a female elf. But... Now I have to remember who... I believe I need Charisma. And quickness, maybe willpower if I want some spell casting. Charisma. Oh well, charisma. It's definitely it's going to be another elf. And here you've got all the classes. So, just to give a little bit of context, World of Shadow Run is basically a technologically advanced future where magic is reawakened. So, like a lot of legendary beasts and like metahumans, like elves, dwarves, orcs, and trolls have just spontaneously appeared. It's a really interesting kind of story. Um, so we're gonna go with an elf because they've got the biggest charisma and quickness. Because I wanna I basically want to make a shaman sniper. So I feel like that's probably the best way to go with it. Uh, but you got a lot of classes, so you've got street samurai, you got mage, uh, you've got a decker who basically hooks into the matrix. And yes that is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you've got shamans who, you know, traditional kind of shaman stuff in like WoW and all that. A rigger who is kind of like, it. most deckers are also riggers. They use like, uh, technology outside the matrix to hit people. And then you've got physical adepts who are basically made, who are basically monks. I believe that's kind of the idea. Um, not actually sure if I be able to do this well. But then again, I don't know if, um... No, you know what? We're just gonna go straight with this. Okay. What are we gonna look like? Oh, well, shit. This guy's got piercings. <laughs> Easy done. Uh, we'll flick through all of them, though, just to have a look. Jesus. Looks more like a necromancer than a shaman. Then again, and not actually that different in this. But I think we'll go with the guy with the lip piercing. Just because, well, that speaks to me. <laughs> Oops, I should actually really have chat open. Duh, duh, duh. So there's not too much in terms of, um,. Customization that you can do, but it like it's enough. You're not going to be like staring like really closely at your character. Like they'd probably be about a third of this size all the time, so you don't really see them that often. Did that even change the hair? Oh wait, that's skin color. Leave it as default. Yeah, whatever that was. Also, I, I I have a soft spot for any game whose like main hairstyles are just really punk. <laughs> and this game has them in spades. And a lot of the characters have too. 
It's amazing. I can be bold. I can have massive... Well, that's not really dreads. Like, it might need... It might meant to be, but... I actually like this. I'm gonna make it a different color, though. Jeez, that's kind of hard to see. The color from this angle. Uh... It's like grey. It doesn't look much much like the picture anymore though, but oh well. Uh, do we want a beard? No, I don't think we want a beard. This guy actually has got a goatee, I think. Jesus mutton chops Batman. All of that looks massively out of place on this character, I think. I think we'll just go with none. Continue to stats. And I've got karma to spend. Okay, so I... So I probably should quickly go through all these stats. Uh, body is just... Um, determines physical damage, so... Um, chance to take reduced damage from attacks, and increases your hit points. Quickness is for range combat, so I'm going to be spending a fair few points in here to get uh, rifle up. Also, this kind of works like a tree, so um, if you have, say, three in quickness, you can get up to three in anything below it, but you can't go over until you increase your quickness. So, it's kind of a neat little system. It makes it much more expensive for going very high. But, um, the benefits of doing that are really high, too. Uh, so this is melee and throwing weapons. Um, we're not going to be using that at all. We're not, definitely not going to be, uh, spending any points there. Intelligence is for, um, basically anything to do with technology. Um, you can actually, if you get, um, two in biotech, you can actually see, uh, enemy hit points. So we might go into that. Because it's usually useful to know to kind of min-max what you're doing, and I feel like I'm going to need that very hard. Willpower is for spell casting in that. Um, we might be going a little bit up into it. All I really want to get for this character, specifically, is probably just, um... I don't know, I might even, I might even put in enough willpower to just have a weapon, like a Mana Blast, which is the basic spell for mages. Um... But this is like a secondary thing. What we're really looking at is Charisma. So the big thing about Charisma is that it increases the ability to control spirits, hitting with conjuring spells, but it also unlocks things called etiquettes. And etiquettes are basically uh, the way you talk to people. Um, to like describe their benefit, it's kind of like having a better speech. Um, so when you're doing uh, like talking checks, so you're talking to someone and you have multiple ways you can answer, kind of like, well, exactly like Fallout. And if you've ever played those before, you usually have bits where like if you have a speech level over something, then you pass a check and you can get through a conversation easier. Same thing if like someone is asking you a question that requires a lot of intelligence. If you don't have a lot of that, you can't pass the check. What this includes, um, other than just, like, um, based on charisma or based on any stats, is you essentially get a check to see, can you speak this person's language? Like, can you convince this person in the, like, dialect that they're used to? And if you have that specific dialect or etiquette, you can get through a conversation easier. So it's really, really great. But I think for now, we're just going to put both of these into here. Oh yeah, so now I get to choose a totem. So shamans draw their power from totems, and they get like specific bonuses depending on uh, what totem they choose. Thing is, we're going to be probably very far from the action, so I'm not quite sure. I've never actually looked at these before, so it's probably a good idea to look through them. Heals all enemies within three of the damage from the most recent attack. 
Wow. Okay, that's that's pretty awesome. Because that's and magic healing actually only um, heals the last wound. It doesn't heal like a percentage of your health or a fixed amount of your health. If you took 25 damage last turn, you can heal for 25 damage. But if you took one damage last turn, you can only heal for one. It's kind of interesting how that works. So that's definitely really potent. I know cat is plus one dodge. Coyote is plus one quickness. Eagle is... 15% hit bonus to everyone. It's pretty cool. Uh, raccoon. Move bonus of plus two squares. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then back to bear. So... I think I want to go eagle. Because that seems awfully useful, if only for me. And if its cooldown is only one, that's actually pretty good. Because... The thing about the bear's power is that I'm probably going to be, like, my character is going to be far away from the combat, and I can cast a heal as long as I have eyesight on someone, so that's probably more useful than this totem, so I'm going to go with the eagle. That seems awfully, awfully useful. The thing I'm worried about, really, with um, spending more points in uh, quickness is that I have to spend a ton in charisma if I want to do what I want to do. Because what I specifically want to do is um, spirit control and conjuring. And that means I have to spend in spirit summoning. It's going to cost a lot. You do, get a, you do get a lot of karma points in this, but it becomes more expensive as you go on. So, if I want to get to 5 Charisma, I have to spend 5 Karma Points. If I want to get to 10 Charisma, I have to spend 10 Karma Points once I've got to level 9. So, the cost goes up every level. You do get increasingly big amounts of that, but, um, yeah, it doesn't start off great. And unfortunately, I'm probably going to be starting off with a very weak character, because I have no ranged combat whatsoever. I can't put points into anything until I put stuff into range combat. So this is going to be interesting. And because of my charisma, I can choose two etiquettes. Um, what's going to be the most useful? I mean, I've played this game before and I'm still not... I kind of rushed through it and I didn't have too much um, charisma in it, so I didn't really have a lot of... Uh, I don't really remember which uh, etiquettes were the most useful, but I want to say Shadowrunner is probably a big one, since you are a Shadowrunner. And... You know what? I think Corporate might be pretty good. I'll get more as I increase my Karma, or as I increase my Charisma, but I think these are pretty good ones to start off with. Actually, I think we're going to go Street. A name... Um, well, I usually name my male spellcasters like Alex. I think that's a bit basic for this one, though, so... I'm gonna go with Alexi. Yeah, why not? If it's... I know that's probably not spelt right, but, eh, uh, whatever. Oh yeah, there is also a lot of text in this game, so I probably will be reading a lot of this. Like this one. Your apartment, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and it isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now it's about all you have. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you're a Nova, you're Nova hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called. The money's run out, and then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of, of a society run by megacorps who just want your new yen. Something needs to change. And soon. Oh, and new yen is the currency in this game. And here we are. Your apartment, 2055. It's 3am and you've got nowhere to go but down. Fantastic. 
Now, the thing about this game is um, there are a lot of interactables, but they you don't see them immediately. Um, it's like one of the nitpicks I have with this. But if you hold Alt, you see everything you can interact with. So, slip of bank, a uh, slip of paper with your bank balance, enough to cover you through the end of the week. Oh, your notebook, calendar, contacts, that kind of thing. All right, let's look through this. View your list of contacts. This list is sad and dried up. No response to messages. Dead. Missing since February. Dead. Probably in a gutter. Dead. Some. Probably in a gutter somewhere. Dead. Retired or dead. Fantastic. List goes on. All either dead ends or just plain dead. It's empty. Nothing to do. All right. Let's put that down. Oh. Someone's ringing us. Sam Watts. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. Eager girls. He's drunk again. Or worse. Uh... Uh... You're zoned. I don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me. I'm dead. Alright. I probably had it coming. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory prisoners. Like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the, ho high on the hog somewhere. Not quite. Some of us are born winners, and some of s s bleh, and some of us are me. Oh, we lost frames again. Sour. Hey, you remember that Renraku run when things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterward? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. Oh. Flashback time. Yeah, figured it was flashback time. <laughs> Didn't want to jump the gun. Sangoma is an urban, sh uh, urban shaman who pr proved her worth during a run against Fuji last fall. She's the quiet type, an experienced runner. We're out in the open here, Alexi. Uh, uh, fix it. New Larry. You've been more running with new, new. La Who the hell calls himself New Larry? Weird. Dowd. Never saw anyone die like that before. Idiot. I hate this fragging city, Alexi. It's wet and rain feels like acid, and I want out of here. Uh... Sure, Alexi. Sure. Whatever you say. Oh, flashback with Sam. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run, so far, but he needs watching. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. Uh, what do you think we should do? Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where we set the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Cut the direct Sam. Oh yeah, there, there there are a lot of like made up made up swear words in this. Drek is one of them. I'm pretty sure it's just slang for shit. I think. Yeah, no, that makes sense. We both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting for all, waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead, spill it. You were sloppy. Oh god, we're fighting already. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands, they're shaking. Uh, did you miss a beat back there? No, like, see, I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game the whole time. Remember, I was on point. You, Larry, was supposed to cover Dowd. Something dawns on him. He leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up. And he knows it. 
Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Remraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared, cleared the holster. You, Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. John is damaged. I'm out. Um, did you keep us here long enough? He stops, and a smile slowly appears on his face. Looks that way. Sorry, Alexia, I kind of like you. I just like money better. Yeah, of course, we got incoming. Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're going to take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. Should choose our friends more carefully. Uh, <laughs> you'll miss me when I'm gone. Fantastic. And I've only got a bat to help me. Oh, shit. That's not good. Okay, I'm starting out with one less AP, too. Jesus. This is bad. You are now in turn-based combat. Each character you have has AP. Yes, I know. And I already lost one. Oh. Fantastic. I've got a water elemental already. <laughs> so that's basically what Shaman can do. Shaman have the ability to um, actually just basically birth life out of things around in the environment. One of them is water, and you usually see it by this, like, greeny, sparkly stuff. That usually shows you where an area you can uh, summon something is. So what have we got on this guy? Mana Bolt, Big Wave. I've only got one action with this for now. What is he? What damage is he dealing to... Uh... Wow, he has a really low chance of hitting. Well, since I'm already wounded, I'm going to give myself an extra chance to dodge. Because I really need that at this rate. Oh no, I have got a gun. Okay, that's that's fine then. Well, power of the eagle, because hell, that that is an amazing ability. Especially if it lasts for two turns. Okay, what has Sam got? Shotgun, rifle, unarmed. He's got a grenade too. Well, we're gonna get rid of new Larry first, because he's a shit. Has she got a shotgun? No, she's got a rifle. She is also a shaman. Oh. Yes, please. Heal us up all of our last wounds. See, that's that's actually a really powerful ability. Again, but um, if the way I'm gonna spec my character is, I'm gonna have that heal anyway, and I'm gonna be nowhere near anyone else to actually heal them. Or ideally, I wouldn't be. Uh, what have we got? Increases accuracy or just a normal shot? Can't do the rabbit. The, the, this spell here, Haste, gives uh, someone one extra ability point per turn. It's actually pretty damn useful. But I think we're just going to shoot at New Larry. Probably should have moved everyone into cover, but apparently, um, what's her name, is the only one actually getting hit. And everyone sucks. Okay. Oh, so this is another thing about um, shamans. When you summon something like this, you can give it any amount of ability points you want. and But the, the thing is, the more you give it, the more chance of escape it has. Now, when I was playing previously, basically what I do is give it as many AP points as possible once I'd gotten to a point where it was like, okay, it if it's going to go crazy, which, if it escapes, it has a chance of doing one of two things. It either just disappears, which is fine, or it turns on everyone. And I mean everyone. It'll hit whoever is closest, it'll damage whoever's near it. Um, if I make it escape in the middle of a group of enemies, like, suddenly they have to deal with that, and I don't even need to control it. But, for now, I've got a pretty good chance of giving it a very good strike. New Larry is down. Uh, okay, what else have we got? 
got Mana Bolt, but he, this thing is actually really terrible at casting. I am going to run up on this guy. He's like the furthest away, and I could probably give him a lot of trouble just getting right up in his face. Wow, 62% chance, like, from that far away. This thing is not good. <laughs> well, correction, he's not good at, um, fighting. Increase target's movement by one. Eh, he's already too close. <laughs> he's already too close for that to be effective, so we're just going to shoot him. We're probably just going to shoot him with everyone. Actually, we might give the shotgun a go. It's probably better. Oh! The crit. The thing about crits is you can either crit for 1.5 normal damage, or you can hit for 2 times damage. But the other thing is that, like you saw with the uh, water elemental, you can also hit for, um, uh, you can also hit for half damage. Like, there's a chance that happens, like just there. You can see the normal damage is ten. I'm not sure of like the ratio of rolls and how that works, but um, yeah. Hmm. You know what? This guy, this I need to move the elemental up here. He's almost dead. He's out in the open, so he's gonna die one way or another. I need to move the elemental up here so that I can do the most damage I can. Damn it! <laughs> uh, really? Do I still have that? Yeah, I still got the accuracy up. Wow, my my chance to hit is terrible. Still got him. <laughs> so that's probably going to be like the most, uh, well, I say exciting, but the most interesting part of this game is really just um, me raging at the fact that I have a 99% chance to hit and still missing. Or like this 10% chance to hit and I actually still hit. Alright, we got a hit. I'd actually prefer to use... Oh, I should have used that. It, actually, he's probably too far away to actually use that. Alright, one down. We got some nice crits, too. That was a miss? What was he aiming at? Uh-oh. Okay, they're pretty far away, so... Oh, they have a shaman? That's not good. Well, I can just use the bear totem again to heal up everyone. Oh. Uh. Ah. Uh, no, it's broken control. Okay, that's bad. So, we need to back off from that. So, I'm gonna run up over here. And, well, I may as well take a pot shot at the mage. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, shit. Sam's out in the open. Um. That is also bad. I just need to be away from the water elemental. Like, I'm pretty sure that'll just attack there. At least I'm hoping it does. Wow, he took a... He was going for broke there. Oh, crap. So the other thing about shaman... Shamans is that if you... Hit the... Oh, no, he's going for me. Okay, that's... That's really bad. That is really, really bad. Shit, he needs to reload too. Oh, no, I'm just gonna back off. I need to put as much distance between me and that thing as possible. Especially with me we wounded like I am. What spells? Yeah, you don't have the spell I'm looking for. Um, we're gonna give Sam an extra point just to reload so I don't have to do that next turn. I'm probably just going to have to heal myself here. As much as I don't want to use that uh, ability. Oh, that item just yet. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, stand right next to the... Stand right next to the unbound fucking... Living water elemental there. 
hell, I don't even know what you call them. Alright, everyone's missing, that's good. He's still after me! Holy shit. Maybe it's different and very hard, so it, like, just automatically turns on, uh... Whoever's closest. Okay, I think I have to hit this mage. Actually, can Sam take a better shot there? Because, um, this shaman's actually pretty good at range, so... Yes. Come on, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Uh, I could take a hot sh shot at the shaman. Actually, I can probably use this again to help us out a bit. Yeah. Alright. Come on. Wide misses. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I need to hit that shaman. I need to hit him bad. That takes two turns. Um, like, I don't really want to incur the wrath of that elemental at the moment. I mean, it's hell-bent on hitting Alexi. Which is really bad. I don't want to get too close to everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move up here. Take a better shot at the shaman. Okay, that's fine. Oh, unbelievable. That thing is hell-bent on killing me. Uh, can she use the bear already? No. No, no, no. Thank you. Yes. Okay, good. So we can heal up a bit. That's good. Uh. Oh no, she's the one with haste. Shit. Okay. Uh, we're gonna- we're, we have to focus fire on this shaman, I think. Come on, Sam. Do it. One time. Yes. Okay. So that's that done. Um, we're just gonna... No, actually he's out in the open, so I'm just gonna move around here. Wow, that's a really bad chance. Um, do I really want to summon the... Well, actually, I. it's not really going to make a damn difference in the end, in, at the end of the day. Might as well summon... What is that called? Wind Dancer. So what's this? Typhoon. That's right. I keep forgetting their names. How are we for casting? Absolutely terrible. But may as well give it a try. Lightning in this game is actually really, really good because it deals damage in ability points. So it actually, like, actively paralyzes a, a uh, opponent hit by it. It's really powerful. And ha one, it was one of the reasons that my, um... Oh, wow, the elemental disappeared. Well, we're going to get right up close and personal. This will actually be it, yeah. Sangoma lowers a gun. Hi, oh, Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. You were born for this gear, Galaxy. Me, not so much. I think I'm gonna hang it up, find a nice brothel. <laughs> brothel somewhere, stay drunk until I croak. Uh. Yeah. I don't forget my friends. Apparently. Because you rigged up something to call me when, I, when you were actually killed. Apparently I'm the only person you actually thought of before being killed off, or... I had you back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Like I said. Better or worse, your name is at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand new yen. New yen. For some reason, I, like, I look at that and I say new yen. 
but it's supposed to be Yu Yen, I'm pretty sure. 100,000. Payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm. Rogers, Murd, Mengert, and McCain. When the job is done, they'll know what to do. Chet. The camera swivels to show a well dressed man sitting next to Sam. Pursuant to Mr. Watts' wishes, Rogers, Mergen, and Mengert and McCain has installed a secure dedicated phone line, so I will not accept transmissions from Conlinks or any other any or other devices. <clears throat> Look, Lexi, I let a direct life and I probably left a direct corpse. I've hurt people, hurt myself, I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that suck, that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? I'd say I trained a drinking buddy for a fat check. <laughs> Hope you just said yes. Got a located chip slot in my head these days. If, when, my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. God. Dark humor already. Guess I'm heading back to Seattle. Alright, and our adventure begins.